page three right with the start from the game here between the People's Republic of China. And Singapore. And we see here now Singapore in attack. The women's category here. We see China is defending with two players uh, with a two and two. That means they have two players in the defense in the back and two in the front. And here we had a long, first long shot on the goal. So really well blocked by China. And ball possession for China. And on the other hand, we see Singapore as well with the same, same defending tactic like China, two and two. And well done here from the Singapore player from Singapore. Here was a foul. A Chinese player was blocking a player from Singapore outside the six meter line. And now here we have the reset of the shot clock. That means Singapore get another 60 seconds to attack here. And we have Singapore with one player inside the zone. And here nice passing. And here we have an obstruction. Called by the second referee by, by James Mitchell from uh, New Zealand. <coughs> A former national team player who played several world championships. And we have now the team from China in the attack. They send one, t one player in two to try to put the uh, defense from Singapore under pressure, dribbling the ball around. And there's 30 seconds left on the shot clock. And here we have Yu coming in, but the uh, captain Zhao didn't play the ball to her. So, but it was a nice run in an opening and we have nine seconds left. So we have the shot here from China on the goal of Singapore. A nice pick up here by player number six from Yu from Singapore. So here we have the chance for Singapore to score their first goal in this first half. Oh, that ball was just a bit too high, but nice recovery here from Lim, playing the ball back out, giving her teammates time to set up properly. And we have you inside the Chinese defense, try to push out Wei. Here we have a really nice hand-to-hand -hand passing and a shot it was a little bit too high. It went over the goal. So ball possession for the team from the People's Republic of China. The locals here. And it looks like the team from Singapore slightly changed the tactics. They're playing with two players in front. Right offensive, try to put the players from China quite early on the pressure. 
But this didn't work so far. Because they were able to take a shot from around four meters in front of the goal. So we have corner here now for China. Which was a bit confusing. So we all went out of the goal, thought it was her ball. <laughs> and we have here now China in ball position. Oh, well done. Baidu pick up this ball, avoiding the obstruction foul here. And we see still soon and mm, chasing for the ball. And we have a paddle foul here from mm, which gives China another minute to attack. There was no reset on shot clock. So 15 seconds left. And here we have an obstruction foul committed by Fong, who just put herself in the way of the player from Singapore. And here we have a shot. No, we have a pass and we have a shot that results in the first goal. Goal for Singapore on the 21 woman. So, Sing Sung Hong scored the first goal. A really nice goal here, which brings the 1 0 lead to Singapore. Right after six minutes of the first half of this woman on the 21 World Championship game here. We have now here Lim who's chasing after the ball to the catabism. And quite successfully won that ball. And here we have a fast break. We have a one on one situation from Lim. But she committed a goalkeeper foul. That means she just paddled into the goalkeeper touched the goalkeeper significantly before she shot the goal. So goalkeeper foul from mm, ball possession for China. So still a 1-0 lead. But again, mm, just got the ball, passes it to their teammate Lim. And now the goal is open and now there's the second goal for Singapore. So we have a new score. Singapore 2, Peoples of Rep Rep People's Republic of China 0. And it looks like the plan of Singapore is it, wor is it worth to chase with two players. Because now we have again Lim is going for the ball, trying to push Fang out of the field. But the ball still stays in the field. But now it was Yo who just pushed the ball out of the field with her paddle. And here we have another foul. So ball possession for China. Oh, that was a really nice steal here. Uh, really a nice steal from Young. And this gives a bit of space for the Chinese team. And she plays the ball to her teammate. <laughs> but she was forced to play the ball back out. So, ball position for Wei. 
And she pulses the ball. No, she goes by her own. Takes time. And now there's the shot clock running out of time. That's why we saw a shot here. So ball possession for Singapore. And the chance for Singapore to score the third goal in this first half of this Asian game here. And here we saw another shot. Just missed the goal. So ball possession for China. And there are 20 seconds left in this first half. And the question is, is it enough time? Or will the Chinese shoot at the goal and score their first goal in this game? Here's the shot. No, it just missed the goal. Just by a few centimeters. And here we find ourselves at half time in this woman under 21 match between China and Singapore. And I'm curious what the coaches will tell their team if they will adjust some tactics or change the tactics for the second 10 minutes of woman under 21 canoe polo here in Doqing at uh, this year's ICF canoe polo world championship. So the players are getting ready for the second half. They are already lined up, the referee is ready and in this moment he just blows her whistle to open the second half. And an easy win here for me. So ball possession for Singapore. And Singapore in the attack. It's the same setup than before. One player inside. In the name of you. And the ball just left the pitch. So ball possession for China. And a sideline throw. Yeah. 
That sideline throw taken by Way. Number two. And well done here by the captain of the <coughs> Chinese woman under 21. And here we have another shot. But they just missed the goal. So ball possession for China. And we still see there are two players from Singapore try to disturb the attack from China quite early. And they did that this time really successful. So ball possession for Singapore. And they have the, ch the chance to play now a fast break. But the Chinese were ready. So they're just in front of the goal. Here we see another paddle foul. Committed by number six of Ch the Chinese team by Yong. <coughs> so free shot, five meters in front of the goal for the team from Singapore. She's playing the ball back out. Number five, and here comes the shot. Just centimeters away from another goal. Nice shot here by Son. And ball possession for China. And it's the first time for both teams. I think that they play at the World Championship in the women's under 21 category. And here we saw a really nice shot. Wow. From play with number six from Young. But the goalkeeper of Singapore Hon was ready to just block this shot. The ball went to the corner, so corner for China. And this forces the player from Singapore to come down in their own half. So they are six of them are just inside the six meter. But here's the infight going on. But now advantage for Singapore. That means that Lee did a foul. And we have here now a false attack from Singapore. An overload, a really nice passing to Ng. And the third goal here. A one on one between Ng and Lo with the batter end for the scorer. <laughs> really nice passing here by the Chinese team, but unfortunately the last pass wasn't there. Good enough. So ball possession for the team from Singapore. Woman under 21. Here in Doqing at this year's 2024 ICF Canoe Polo World Championship. And another long shot just over the goal. So again, ball position for China. And the next chance to score the first goal to replace the zero on the scoreboard with a one. <laughs> and the uh, team from Singapore just won that ball, tried to make a fast. And down number three, just took the shot Wong. She was quite sure that she's going to score in this open goal, but the distance was just a bit too far, or the shoot not precise enough. And here we see the ladies from China with their next attack. Four and a half minutes to go till the end of the match. Passing the ball up the pitch. Oh, 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 oh. 
Well on here by the captain. That was an important thing by Chow. But the uh, goal from Singapore looks blocked, but that's a nice run and a nice shot. And unfortunately, it just hit the upper bar. So ball possession for Singapore again. And Xiang just tried to slow down the Singaporean attack. And here we have, oh, there was another goal from the number seven from Singapore, from Jervis Lim. And in total, that was the fourth goal for Singapore here on page three. <coughs> and three minutes, 40 seconds to go to the end of this game. And we see again, mm, just tackling the Chinese player pretty early. But now it looks like the Chinese team can better deal with that. They support each other pretty well. But they got pushed in their own half with the ball. And now there's some space. That's the chance for the Chinese team. And now with uh, some nice runners, runs, they bring the ball to the goal of Singapore. But they're forced now to play the ball back out. And here we see an obstruction. Unluckily, Fung didn't went with the hand to the ball to avoid this obstruction foul. And we see here now the next fast break. And Fung has the ball, playing it back out. And a really nice block here by the team from China. And they managed to put the ball out of the field. So another corner for Singapore. The Chinese still defending with a 3-1 defense. Low in front on the one. And then Singapore is forced to play the ball back out due to the defending skill of China. And the uh, team from Singapore still play with one player inside, four outside. And we see now that Liu adapted to the tactic of Singapore and the Chinese team try early to disturb their attack but now that we have a ball inside the center and not a shot from home was just a bit too high so it went out the field so ball position for China and an unlucky mistake here and mm, she just anticipated this situation so another goal for Singapore and we have a new lead here Singapore leading by six goals no excuse me four goals against China who has zero goals at the moment but there's one minute left for China to score their first goal who unluckily mm, it's already gone and here's the long ball will she be able to score or is there enough pressure from the Chinese player? Yeah, there was. She was forced to play the ball back out. But she gets the ball back. Plays it to the middle. To her teammate. And here's another shot. Another goal. Amanda Quien Soon just scored the sixth goal for Singapore. And 38 seconds to go. And now we can say for sure it's a win for Singapore here. But the game has to be played till the end. <coughs> if nothing strange or special happens, Singapore will take this win back home. And here's another block from 
But Wei was able to pick up the ball, bring back to the teammates. Oh, that was really unlucky. That would have been the chance to score a goal. And five seconds left on the clock. But that's not enough time to score another goal for Singapore. So with a result of six to zero between Singapore and the People's Republic of China in this woman under 21 match. <coughs> so thanks for watching here and thanks to all the sponsors as well who make this event possible, this World Championship, this ICF World Championship. A special thanks go to the two big federations, to the International Canoe Federation, to the China Canoe Association who wants to push Polo forward on another level in their country and to a special thanks go to Hathu City, to the Dotting Country, Yupin Sports, Wong Kong Group and Lecture Sports and last but not least to Kalas Outdoor Equipment.